Hello everyone and welcome back to Little Mountain, Utah. Today we are going to be starting our weed killer process. It's spreading our herbicide on our fields that we have corn in. So the plan is to come over here to this field that we just planted and take care of that. We have a few weeds in here. This is our biggest field, so we would definitely want to make sure that the weeds don't go overkill in here and take over. That'll affect the growth of the corn. As you can see, the corn is in its early stages, its first growth, first stage. So it's looking pretty good, and we can drive over this. This won't affect it, but if we wait another week, we will not be able to drive over this corn. So we are gonna be taking the R7321 sprayer out here. And that is a nice sprayer because it has the, I think it's called a weed spy or something like that. So basically it's a $50,000 accessory you can get for your sprayer and it picks up on weeds and sprays them. So it doesn't spray anywhere that doesn't have a weed. So it'll turn off nozzles multiple times off on off on anytime there's a weed so all this here nothing will happen and then once it hits this weed here you'll see one spray turn on another spray and it'll kill that so the uh, pretty cool uh, technology it does cost a lot but we have the truck out here i got the gator just in case we need to run back to the farm or i want to do anything else i just loaded it up and then I do have four totes of this herbicide, but we're only going to need about 280 gallons, if that. So I just loaded it up because I want to move it on the farm anyway. So that's why it's all loaded on there. We're not going to go through, we won't even go through probably one tote. So it's just nice to have it. I uh, had a little extra money. Um, I decided to get it. So I'm going to shut the truck here. And I am going to get hopefully picked up here by my uncle and we're gonna head back down so i can grab the tractor and we will see you guys back at the field with the tractor and sprayer some other things that we got is we got some more round bales here of wheat our neighboring farm over there behind us he uh, basically plants a lot of wheat and when he harvests that in june july he produces a lot of bales so we ended up giving him a call because we were pretty much out. I think we have two two left, I think. And that's it. So I ended up making a $8,000 purchase on some bales. So, which is always nice. But we need it. We need it for straw. So we don't plant any of that yet because obviously we're just getting up and going. Um, it's actually not that bad to buy it from our neighbor, helps out our neighbor, and it's not as expensive compared to other people. So I had the hut off, but we are on the end of May, May 3, which is the third week of May, our last week, and we are basically gonna finish this up, putting 278 gallons I think will be plenty if not we could always come back um, but you notice we will have 58,000 in the bank so we sold our Mac and we ended up getting a international and older truck by probably at least 15 years the biggest reason for that is we don't do a whole lot of trucking with these semis so the Mac was actually overkill for our farm and the payments we were making on that we just figured it wasn't worth it um, so the international is still almost a 600 horse truck it does everything we need it to do it's just not as fancy and it's not as strong as the mac was so we did end up downgrading that but i mean honestly the international is a classic i love the truck so we're going to lower the boom on here just because the corn obviously is early growth so we don't want to go too high we want to make sure the weeds get it we don't want to too low we're dragging the corn which we shouldn't be I'm gonna fire it on and see what we got here so we're just gonna do the outside pass on this side because we're always dealing with traffic on this side here I 
And we want to try not to hit that. And always the hardest part. So yeah, we started early this morning. You know, it's, we started a little after six o'clock. I wanted to get this done and get manure spread out. I did chores already, cows are fed. So we are looking good as far as that. One thing I did notice, we had a mishap planting this field and I'm not sure what happened. I don't know, but this square piece in front of me here did not plant. I didn't do nothing. I didn't pick up the planter. I didn't shut it off. It was set for GPS on cruise. And I didn't realize it until now on this other pass that that was a square there. And I looked at my map and sure, sure enough, that's not planted. So I'm not sure what happened. It's just cool in the back here you can see how you know you over a weed and it picks it up technology has changed farming for sure this is actually so this investment with this sprayer actually is going to save us a lot of money so that's why i realized i mean i might as well do it so i mean you're wasting a lot in reality I mean you really are there's not not always do you have weeds going up and you know in the same spot all the time so I would like to do some contracts with the sprayer I could potentially look into that and make a little extra side money um, we are gonna have some downtime after we cut our first crop so I wouldn't mind doing that that'd be kind of cool there's any contracts I'm not sure if there's any contracts on this map or not I don't know if there is I haven't looked into that but And we're below 200 gallons. We've got one more pass on the field. And then we're going to fold it up. And I might not even bring the truck. I might just leave the truck there and worry about that later. Just because we're not going to need it. Alrighty, we made it to the end. That's gonna do it for this field here. Oh, the other ones will be a breeze.
just finished up our spraying. Just like that, we're done. And now we're gonna get the spreader and fertilize some of these fields. I'll park this sprayer back. There's a little bit left in the tank. Nothing too crazy, so I'm just gonna leave it in there. There's the new truck. Already, I head over to our right here. And it's time to start spreading some manure. I'm gonna go right along the fence line. We'll probably have maybe three loads. That's gonna be pushing it. Alright guys, that's gonna wrap it up. This episode here, we got all of our weeds taken care of. We got our manure hauled out from the winter. We are finally caught up and looking good on the farm. Cows are fed. About noon right now. And we're gonna go call it quits for the day until chores tonight. So I appreciate you guys for watching this. If you enjoy this, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I much appreciate it. Hope you guys have a good one. Catch you on the next one. Cody Farms out.